Okay, welcome physics fans. We're going to continue on with the Physics 11 projectile package on page 6, number 8. A rescue pilot wishes to drop a package of emergency supplies so that it lands as close as possible to the target. If the plane is traveling with a velocity of 81 meters per second and is flying at 125 meters above the target, how far away horizontally from the target must the rescue pilot drop the package? So there's my good picture of my plane and my package that's being dropped. The plane is traveling forward at 81 meters per second. And it's at a height right now of 125 meters. So when it releases it, it's going to come landing and it's going to follow a path. And we want to know what this distance is. So the horizontal distance is what we want. The horizontal speed is 81 meters per second. The acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared down. The initial horizontal speed is zero. Why? I keep emphasizing this every time I under, underline it, so you might want to do that too. How far away horizontally? The okay, plane is traveling with a velocity. Hmm, doesn't say that he's flying level. So that's an assumption right now, because that's what we want. And the distance vertically is 125 meters down. So we will use d equals v i t plus one half a t squared, but this term is zero because v i is zero. So we get d equals one half a t squared, or two d equals a t squared, or 2d over a equals t squared, where we get what we've always been using, t is equal to the square root of 2d over a. But again, this only works if that term, this one here, yellow, 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 is zero. Plugging it in, t equals two times 125, all over 9.8. Pull up Mr. Calculator. And we will take the square root of 2 times 125 divided by 9.8. So it takes about 5.05 .05 seconds to reach the ground. So I'll put that in here in red, 5.051 seconds, 5.051 seconds. And to get the distance, d is equal to v times t, and that's going to be 81 times 5.051 seconds. So when you multiply that by 81, and we get d is equal to 409.1 meters. There's the answer. Thank you.